this over here, and... Oh, hey. Already with the fucking phantom inputs? For real? Just started the game off and already got a phantom input. I don't see anyone aboard. You're surprisingly into this. Maybe you've got a criminal streak in you after all. What? No, I... What do you think, Aizen? She'll do. Let's take her. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Of course, that's where I want to go. And that's where I'm going. Everything all right? We're almost at Lionel Island, all thanks to this ship. She's got a good compass. Yeah. If only my inner compass held us steady. From the first moment I laid eyes upon that demon, I think I knew it was Eifried. I mean, some part of me refused to accept it. That's because you're Eifried's friend, don't you think? After all, he taught you that the Reaper's curse was part of you. Part of your creed. We were lost at sea once. Twenty straight days we floated together, close to death. And all he says is, you sure know how to liven up an adventure. He sounds like an incredible person. You did the same thing for Velvet, you know. Only because you taught me how, Aizen. Your wheel is yours to hold, right? That's right. That's what it is to live by one's... Look! It's Lionel Island! Not good. The Von Eltia's already there. <sighs> We're too late. Eleanor! What's Shut up. On? What happened? Oh, and... They're breathing. Barely. Zavid rushed here to save us. Had he not come when he did, we'd all be dead. <coughs> this is all because I hesitated. Hey, Where'd they go? go? Zavid lured the beast away towards the interior. Let's go.
Get out of the way. Whoa. We will need to be extremely wary. No mercy! Wounds that won't shield! Cards in the flesh! Lethal pain! Take that! The power!
Is that demon really Eifried? Eisen would know better than anyone, so I'd take it as a fact. But I thought when people have a strong will like you and Kurogane, they don't lose themselves upon becoming a demon. From how Aizen talks about him, I'd say his strength of will should be considerable. Even if you don't lose yourself, a demon is a demon. When you change, you're no longer human. No I don't longer remember human. how I felt as a human. But I bet the human me would have thought I'm a real monster. <sighs> but would the old part of Eifried allow him to be so obedient to the Abbey? No. He didn't seem to be following Melchior of his own free will. I imagine Melchior's illusory arts are at play. Like what we saw at Loringen in a ball? Is that enough to control a demon? They would seem so. But more importantly, someone with a psyche resilient enough to impress Aizen should be extraordinarily hard to turn into a demon. So Melchior must be using a particularly nasty illusion, eh? Eifried, Aizen, please be okay. Okay. We have to hurry. Zavid's all alone. Well, he's not exactly an ally. He's got his own creed. Remember the white horned dragon? He might try to protect Eifried. So Eisen might too, right? This is Eifried we're talking about, so. He's a demon now. He's not Eisen's old buddy anymore. <sighs> Even if we can't bring him back to being human. There has to be something we can do to make him... himself again. So Melchior? If he's a demon, he'll never be himself again. He attacked Benwick and the rest of his crew. The old Eifried's gone. So... what does Eisen plan to do? I don't know. That's up to him. Worst case, we might have to fight him too. It's best you prepare yourself for that possibility. But he's my brother. I get this fucking game wrapped up today. I mean, I've unlocked all the places. Just be a series of boss battles and I'm done, but it might make me go try to find all four Empyreans. And if it does that, I'm gonna be pissed off. Name of this place makes me think of the librarians. Good dialogue. Zavid, you all right? Stop! I know these fists. This is Eifried. Why didn't you fight back? Eifried. She pulled me back from the brink. <laughs> I owe him. This time, it's my turn to bring him back. A demon can never be human again. So what? That's supposed to make me change my creed? What do you think, I freed? Savid! Going after kids now? <sighs> Benwick and your crew risked their lives by your side. Savid's an idiot, but he stands by his beliefs. I won't let anyone trample their creeds. Even you! I 
Why don't also free his mind up from the illusion? And now... It's time to pay it back! Are you all right with this, Aizen? I am. Let's settle this. No. Easier said than done. No mercy! Wounds that won't shoot! Hard to deflect! Lick the back! He's a bunch of fire! Come on, the threat! Shot come! Release the fleet! Release the fleet! Release the fleet! Release the fleet! It's weird to me that they are too lazy to make Malik and Demon a type for Theronization. Just make it its own little random type. Why sandwich them together? Fast and hard. Okay, I was blocking, but sure. I roll ham. He does not respect the block whatsoever. Think you can dodge? Just yeah. try! Yeah. Perfect yeah. mayhem! Whoa! But he's stunned. Apparently he got unstunned. Yes! Blades of wind! You could stop doing full damage while I'm blocking, that'd be great. Uh, there it is. No, I can't. Again with the fucking full damage while I'm blocking. I hear. We try waiting for a res. Disgraceful. Dead. 
Breaks my block and then does that. I was thinking it might be that he's hitting me in the back, but no, block seems to work from all angles. be annoyed if it didn't, since enemy blocks work from all angles. Again with the fucking guard breaking! Just hate how arbitrary the fucking buttons seem to be in this game. Ah, hey, you're holding block. Yeah, yeah, it'll block one attack. It won't block three. Pressing out my hands, hitting these fucking buttons. Better at least get some return from it. That was my fault. That is how I got greedy. Why is it not letting me? Didn't let me do my little dodgy thing. Still not letting me. There we go. And when did I lose a soul? Hit how the random Theranize means the last hit might do nothing to him. Time for me to use new moves. Get 
There we go. Oh, this him. <laughs> Thought I activated it when he activated. Come on. Really hoping it would do the four one. Considering I was over forty hits into a combo and you know. Had four bars. The extra soul would have been nice. It's okay though. It looks like a win so long as it doesn't pull some crazy shit out of his ass here at the end. As he uses an attack I'm unfamiliar with. <laughs> I feel like I'm seeing more attacks from my allies than usual. Like, they're being extra aggressive this round. Not that I'm complaining. End of the road. Look this little neck. Let's see if I give a shit. Taking hostages now. I'm sorry. Just forget about me. I'm I'm prepared for whatever happens. Do it. Kill him. Then go find Kamoana and kill her too. Kill Bienfu while you're at it. Kill all, all the right. annoying characters. You've grown. You're a man now. Family, friends, everything I ever tried to hold on to, all of it trickled away, fell from my grasp. But a certain idiot once told me, if you can't hold something in your hand, then make a fist and take it by force. I believe that's called rape. This fist will take everything back. Just like you told me to! Hey, it's gonna give him a fisting. I know this fist. It's you. Sorry. Caused him a lot of trouble, didn't I? Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? Wrong. I freed! Lame. A demon changed back into a human? Forget it. It's too late. I'm sorry. If I only knew how to use my power. Stop crying. Didn't you say you were prepared for anything? But... Be prepared I to cry. Searching for Ifried for so long. <sighs> You're still as soft as you ever were. Boy, I'll let you in on little secrets. Your power comes from being part of Inominat. You should. Which means if you can seal off his domain, you actually got a chance of putting up a good fight. Seal off his domain? Oh my god, you're gonna tell me to go kill the Imperials. Imperials. Not kill, but gather. Sleeping in the earth pulses. 
Son of a bitch. If you can rouse them from their slumber. Hurry. While Artorius and Inominat are occupied. They're getting ready for some ceremony of suppression. It's now or never, kid. Thank you, uh. my freed. The plus side, I should be able to go back to the southern I island. Said I can't go with you. It sounds like a goddamn blast. I won't apologize. You shouldn't. I'm grateful. You always kept things from getting dull. If we ever meet again, let's Fish raise oil. some hell. Eisen. Fish oil. And I'm healthy. Yeah, we will. See you, Ifrid. <sighs> I owe you one, Zavid. We had a chance to bring him back. But you went and killed him. Next time I see you, we'll settle the score. Between me and your creed. See you around, Zavid. So, we need to wake the four elemental Empyreans? But, how do we do it? Dunno, maybe you tickle their divine footsies with a feather until they... You're back! And you're looking better. Somehow. But what happened to that demon? We killed him. Benwick. He... Let me tell him. The rest of you, find Grimoire, and ask her about the four Empyreans. Aizen. Are you sure? Do it. He gave us this chance. We can't waste it. Okay. I mean, the Aizen's the captain now. That was a coup. Plan to kill him from the start. The bitch. Resurrect the elemental Empyreans. True. If we do that, we might be able to suppress Inominat's domain. It may even liberate the minds of the Malachim that Inominat has under his control. I'm sure some will no longer obey their exorcists. Good. We'll take a big bite out of their forces. More importantly, Inominat will lose the ability to enhance the resonance of his exorcists. Most exorcists will no longer even be able to perceive Malachim at all, just like before. Of course, anyone as innately gifted as me is another story. Will I... become unable to see Lafayette? We won't know until we try. Eleanor... Then let's give it a shot. I'll... accept whatever happens. But these elemental Empyreans, they're gods, right? You sure it's okay to disturb their beauty sleep? They control the four elements. Waking them is likely to upset the balance of the world quite a bit. I'll take that as a no, then. We don't even know how to revive them. At worst. If it's anything like the opening, then we need to offer a sacrifice at the Earth Pulse on a Scarlet Night. We have to kill someone? The act of killing is not essential to the ceremony. All that's needed is a soul free of malevolence. Hmm. If that's true, then doesn't Velvet already have a whole belly full of them? The exorcists I devoured. It's perfect! You're Aetherian, you're capable of releasing the power you absorb. The souls of the high-ranking exorcists you ate should do nicely. Use Oscar and Teresa's souls to resurrect the Empyreans? It's worth a try, at least. When's the next Scarlet Night? Three years after the advent. In other words, soon. Hmm. Do we have enough time? The four Empyreans are asleep in different places, right? Correct. Four Earth Pulses for four Empyreans. 
But if you use a life pool, you may be able to awaken all four at the same time. Hmm? A life pool? Earth pulses normally flow horizontally, but in exceptionally rare cases, they can flow vertically. This causes energy to collect at the Earth Pulse's base, forming a life pool. Though sometimes the energy flows the other way, upward, into what's called a life spring. Ho-ho! So if we make use of one of these life pools, a single sacrifice could reach all four Empyreans. Where are they? There's a life pool in the northern reaches of Midgand, but I heard a large temple was built over it recently. That's the Empyrean throne! We can't go there, it's Inominat's home base! Ah, uh, most unfortunate. Couldn't we use a life spring? It all connects to the same place, right? We'll have to go against its flow, but... We'll force the soul right down its throat. Where's the nearest life spring? Our best bet would be Mount Killeraus. Aizen? I'm fine. What's done is done. Killeraus? That's the volcano on the northernmost tip of Northgand, but it's a hellscape of ice and lava! Naturally. Killeraus is the most powerful life spring there is. So, in short, we shove the souls of the exorcists into the molten core of that volcano. That should awaken the four elemental Empyreans. Together, they will seal off Inominat's domain. At least I don't have to track them all theory, down. But... It's one I'll put my money on. Me too. Then we're off to Northgand. Mount Killeraus is north of Helleviz. I still want to go south and go to the temple, but okay. Not to the temple, to the Kraken. On the way to the temple. The ship's ready to sail. Where are you headed? We don't have a problem. If you've got a grudge, we can settle it here and now. Huh? Why would we have a grudge against you guys? The first mate fought like the first mate. The captain died like the captain, right? I suppose. The no swabby here can blame you for what happened. We're Eifried's pirates, and don't forget it. We're not so pathetic that we need pity from some lord of calamity. All right. The ship's in your hands. Aye, aye. You can count on us. Captain is dead, the along with the captain. Looks the same as ever, but it feels utterly different, doesn't it? Yeah. Even Benwick looked like he'd been crying. Little bit. I can imagine. But if we let ourselves despair now, we'd be a disgrace to Eifried's creed. We have to swallow our anger and grief, and sail on. Right. Following a creed isn't always pleasant. We must do what we must. And really loves I creeds. won't allow the Abbey to do things like this. Destroying someone like that, turning them into a puppet, it's unconscionable. Still, a heart can never be fully bridled. It can be shattered, but never erased entirely. Eifried proved that. Right. His body is gone, but he lives on through his crew. Magilu is right. What lives in one's heart can never be erased. Yeah, the heart is eternal. Pulling something up on the Google. Hold on. Pulling up my favorite Japanese creed. Oh, gotta add display capture because OBS erased all my settings. Yeah. The Dokido. Written by Musashi. You know. The famous swordsman. The last thing he wrote before he died, when he became a hermit and was living in a cave. Yeah. That is more or less the code I live by. Except for the shit about Buddha. I don't believe in any god, so... Other than that, I uh, pretty well follow this. Anyways, that out, go back to the game. Let me go where I want. 
hate being on the rails. Super Nintendo games with more freedom. Oh, Final Fantasy 1 had more freedom. I see. Or a Calcum or not, Stormquell snapped like a twig. I'm afraid so. It was Inominat who did it. But I think Shigure could have done the same. So hardness alone isn't enough. Forgive me. I thought I had found clarity, but it was only foolish pride. You should be proud. You are without a doubt the greatest swordsmith in the world. I'm looking forward to your next blade. Even now, you would still place your trust in me? Of course. Is there any other swordsmith who could craft a blade out of Orichalcum? You're Probably. a master of your art. A visionary who spent centuries working to forge a blade of legend. I'm honored to know you. I don't know what to say. Unless, of course, you've given up on making a sword to surpass Storm Howl. <laughs> Does this look like the face of a man who's given up? Not in the least. <laughs> We're making good time. The only problem is that ceremony that Arturius was going on about. We don't know how long it'll take. Eifried said they called it the Ceremony of Suppression. Most likely, it's how Inominat plans to release his power. Most likely. He hasn't absorbed Lafayette in your despair. So we know me not should still be incomplete, but if his powers fully awaken. Humanity will be robbed of their free will. I can hear them celebrating now. The uglinesses of the human soul are suppressed. And the world is free of malevolence. Hurrah, hurrah. Robbing humanity of its will. They'll be like I once was. Uh, something's coming! A bird? Guys, let's not fight! <laughs> this is a domain? fully sealed away yet. Rokuro, give him a good smacking. Wake him up! On it. Aizen! Got it. We'll put in at the nearest harbor. To Port Zexon! Ah! I feel like some jerk played tug-of-war with my brain. 
Dig up some spirit. They're trying to strip away your will. Oh, no! Look! It's that merchant! You're all right! I do not deserve to be all right. I... used people. Stepped on them just to make a profit. I even aided wanted criminals so that I could expand my business. Who hasn't? My soul is black with ugliness and can never be forgiven. The dude's doing serious suicidal talk and walking no, towards an edge. Now I'm gonna try to stop him? Stop! The world needs to be purified of malevolence. I don't belong here. I have to die. I have to die. I have to die. No! It's not right! Oh! You got knocked the fuck out! You can die if you want, but saying you have to die is a good way to make my blood boil. Those awakened to their own malevolence seek to end their lives. Welcome to Artorius's uncompromising world of reason. First they steal humanity's rudder, and now they want to say who lives and who dies? We should find out what's happening here. Unless you'd rather not see. You're right. I wouldn't. But I won't hide from the truth any longer. I am the truth. Before anything else, we'll need to confirm just how far his power reaches. Let's head to Logris. Let's arbitrarily change our plans. How would moving closer to it pressure. help... Figure out the rain. Want to move further away? Bien! There's no life in anyone's eyes. This isn't a fun place at all. It's not just people's minds being shackled; they're being forced to die too. It's terrible. Why would dying be part of anyone's ideal world? Even under such strict control, new sins can still rise to the surface. If that happens, it's better to end the life of the sinner. Melkier came to the same logical conclusion. What utter rubbish. Anyway, we need to get to Logris. What's going to happen to the world? How far will Anominat's power spread? When his domain expanded, I felt a faraway power suddenly come closer. It was enough to blot out the whole sky. I'm sure it's covered other towns too. His domain has certainly extended to at least the entire populace of this country. Otherwise, what would be the point? That means what happened at Port Zexen is happening everywhere. Everyone is either a puppet or... Dead by their own hands. Inominat created this ideal hell in a single moment. That's the power we're up against. So we few are standing against a truly monumental force. This is your last chance to turn back. Turn back to what, exactly? Forward or back, we're headed into hell either way. At least this way, I'll have my own free will. I'd prefer a living damnation to that oblivion. Well, don't come crying to me later. Let's move along, then. So this is the result of their ceremony of suppression? Seems that way. They've brought the- Didn't mean to interrupt you. I was a fool for Listen trying to sell commemorative chalices to the people visiting the Empyrean's throne. Happiness can't be bought with ill-gotten gains made through deception. In an effort to change my malevolent ways, I sold my shop and entered the Holy Priesthood. Rather than pursue my own greed, I've chosen to dedicate my life to bringing the sacred teachings to all. Wow, look how shiny and pure he is. So this is what happens when Inominat suppresses all of someone's sins and desires. How nauseating. And this is the kind of world they're trying to create. Do or do not. There is no try.
Look at a statement against communism. First, I took nectar to escape all my hardships, and I drank to run from all my pain. Even if I resisted, endured the pain, nothing changed. I've spent my life running. I'm pathetic, but yes, I are. won't run anymore. I'm disposing of all the drinks in town. What the world needs now isn't dependence, but freedom. And I'll see that we have it. I'll hey, take man, it off your that's hand. the kind of repentance that should only come the morning after a night of fun and too much drink. And if you're afraid of losing yourself, drinking is a far better option than falling under Yinominot's control. Get it, you're all drones. Boring drone dialogue. They're hey, droning you're on. Kaki Ku's menagerie. Ooh, close. It's Magi Lu's menagerie. I apologize for always demanding that you entertain me, despite my inability to even remember your name correctly. I'm also sorry to you, miss, for always insisting you do that tedious little bird impression of yours. I feel so bad, I could just punch myself. Nay, I must. I'm not sure if I'm more angry or confused. It is wrong to seek pleasure from viewing petty tricks and pointless entertainment. Honest hard work alone is right. Someone such as I, who was unable to live in accordance to the simplest of truths, should disappear from this earth. Please, use that special trick you told me of. Make me disappear forever. If you took it seriously, you'd have a better inventory. Your shit sucks, D. Don't get why we're heading to Logris. It doesn't make any sense. We have a time crunch before this shit spreads, and we gotta go get the gods all woke up. So why would we be wasting time looking at more drones? And if they want to see how far the influence is, you go further away, not closer to the source. It just doesn't make sense. We must accept that we all grow old. I can no longer perform the physical labor that allowed me to benefit society. I no longer deserve to live here. I must find a place far from others. There, I will await a quiet death. This isn't someone accepting that they'll grow old. This is him refusing to grow old. If this spreads, we'll have no more old people at all. Um, might not be a horrible thing. Older you are, the worse morality you probably have. Pets General, consume speaking. precious resources and grant no tangible benefit to society. That's why I say we should throw them all back outside. It's only right. I threw away my friend's entire pet beetle collection. They have been purged. This is all for the new order. But I want to keep my rhino stagros. It was the height of foolishness for a lowborn person like me to hold on to romantic fantasies about Prince Percival. I should seek a male companion suitable to my social status and live a life free of pointless desire and pride. Form, beauty, appearance, all are superfluous. Reason dictates that I seek a biological partner who lets me live my life with greater efficiency. While what she's saying isn't technically wrong, it really... Really creeps me out. I'd respond to that okay Cupid profile.
Even the capital is silent as death. Inominat's power did all of this. A god among gods. Fountains are purely decorative, and serve no purpose to the collective good of mankind. They must be purged. Not just the fountains. The streets and houses are filled with unnecessary extravagances. Comfort is another word for vanity. It is a lie that breeds only envy and war. All vanity must be purged. Yes. We cannot let ourselves be ruled by desire. We must control ourselves and lead lives of purity. If they keep abandoning desire after desire, eventually they'll abandon even their desire to live. I knew it. I said all along that taverns are dens of evil. Now there is no one left who desires that demon drink. It clouds man's judgment and causes good people to fall into corruption and sin. It should never have existed. Taverns shall now only live on in history books. I've always opposed the sale of nectar and intoxicating drinks. From now on, those places once known as taverns should be used to distribute food equally to all. Flavor is irrelevant. It is enough for food to fill the stomach and contain the nutrients necessary for survival. Food is not something that should be enjoyed. But eating is part of being alive. If you can't enjoy your food, how can you enjoy your life? I don't want to live like that. Isn't there anyone here who still has free thought? I hope so. There has to be. <gasps> Mommy! That was a child. Don't show any feelings, dear. If they spot you, they'll... Prince Percival! Tabitha! You're still you! What? Got demons? In the capital? No, they're molecules. Infernal Horus! 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 Infernal
Tabitha, your mind's still your own? Yes, somehow. But Prince Percival and that girl... Looks like those Malakin took them away somewhere. The Prince was trying to help us get away. He said that the Abbey was gathering those who still had control of their own will at the villa. We need to go after the Prince, and see just what's going on at the villa. We don't know what sort of defenses they have at the front gate. Let's sneak in through the back. Good plan. Back into the catacombs, then. You got it. Get some giggles. Let's see what's in this. Powerful enemies in here. So those weren't demons, they were Malakim. Yes. They were probably ordered to hunt down any humans who still possess free will. Enominat isn't whole, and his oppressive powers are not yet absolute. So he must be using the Malakim to find anyone he missed and process them. Sounds like him. Process? Be it a prince or a little girl. I wonder if Tabitha's all right. I don't think she'll be suppressed so easily. Aye. She's got more grit than the average soldier. But even if she resists suppression, if the Abbey finds her... She'd stand out even more with us. She ran an entire shadow network. Finding a place to hide will be child's play for her. Maybe she was just pretending to be an old woman. Huh? But I really loved Tabitha's cooking. I'm just kidding. You don't run into a woman that tough every day. She's been living in society's shadows since before we were born. If she heard you were worried, she'd laugh and say you're wasting your time. Then we should be on our way to the villa. Huh? I was in 150. Pretty sure you mentioned being 150. Oh no, that was Bienfu. Still. At least one member of the party is 150. Aizen could be way older than that. Are you new and improved or are you the same old shit?
My mind is... A channeling circle! He's eating their will directly! Now, isn't it? Maybe. With an entrance like that, Wait, what? it's almost like like where change my character randomly on me. No fair. You were supposed to say like what? He's in the wrong move. No idea wh why I'm still in Theronization, but I'll take it, for sure. Faded away. Not pressing any buttons when that went off. I'm going to try to give me a heal, thanks. Dark 
That hammering has to be coming through on the fucking mic. It's not. I'm very annoyed by the sound of hammering going on downstairs. Vibrating the floor, so it's probably vibrating the mic stand and thus the mic. I can still feel scared out of my wits, at least. <sighs> it's all right now. We'll help you find your mommy, and then... Mommy we'll... was executed. They killed her because she stole food to give to me. But that's okay. They had to. Mommy was acting against reason. <gasps> So this is the true face of their suppression. Yes, this is the ideal world sought by Shepherd Artorius. As long as malevolence gave rise to demons, this was the only way. That's why the Kingdom of Midgan consented to his plan. But I will never consent. A world without sadness, but also without joy. A world without hate, but also without love. You suppose the whole world's like this now? No. Even this close to the Empyrean's throne, some here have held on to their free will. Still, we don't have much time. Yeah, we should probably not be right. dicking around here I worrying about one girl. Not domain spreading even now. It's incomplete, but it's quickly growing stronger. Even we might be suppressed if this keeps up, and then it'll be reason o'clock all day long. <sighs> Prince, Griffin is doing well. Good. That's good. Uh, I'm happy. Truly. Until Probably now, I us, thought yeah. I was just a tool to serve my country. But when my feelings were being torn from me, I felt myself want something. No, I thought. I don't want this. I don't want to lose who I am. I understand the true horror of this ideal world now. I know it's selfish to put this burden on you. But I beg you, stop all this. Stop Shepherd Artorius. You said something to me once. A bird that cannot fly is no bird at all. And now I say this to you. People stripped of their feelings can never truly be alive. Yeah, that's how I used to be. We're going to defeat Artorius. We're going to make this world one where we can be ourselves. We're doing it for us, not for you. <laughs> You've changed, haven't you? You really have. 
You used to be a sword wielded by your own hatred. But now, you're in control. You're the one who swings the blade. <laughs> Even if I still don't know when to sheathe it. Don't worry. When danger comes, I'll be there to protect you. My, I'm jealous. It must be nice to have a reliable young man like that by your side. It certainly is. Our fee's a gallant soul. Eisen. About Captain Eifried. I dealt with him. But the Abbey. They stomped all over Eifried's pride to achieve this suppression of theirs. With these hands, I will destroy them. Then I'm going to be selfish, too. And as just another flawed human being, I will offer a humble prayer that you succeed. Well, I'm pumped. Who wants to go cut our way into this throne of theirs? We can't just barge in, sword for brains. We gotta prepare. We stick to the plan. Wake up the four Empyreans and take Inominat's domain away from him. Artorius said the ceremony wouldn't be complete until the Scarlet Knight. Will they complete the ceremony first, or will we awaken the Empyreans? It's a gamble. Well, moping won't get us anywhere. Let's head to Mount Killerhouse. Right. It's time to suppress the suppression. I mean, let's go do the thing we should have been doing this whole time. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I'm super tired for some reason. Only been awake a couple hours. Eleanor, did the exorcists know about this when they agreed to help Artorius? They couldn't have. The exorcists I know fought for a world where people could live their lives in happiness and peace. But then how do you explain the fact that the exorcists seem to accept what's going on? Maybe that was just what I wanted to believe. It could be that Inominat's suppression is also affecting the exorcists. You mean Inominat might have taken control of their will and made them his tools? Completely believable. Exorcists are too hard-headed to be open to much persuasion. If I stayed with the Abbey, I might have accepted this world too. Thank you, Lafayette. It's your strength that protects my heart from wavering. You really think so? Of course I do. Have a little more self-confidence. <laughs> Guess it's a good thing I captured you then. That's true. I owe you my gratitude as well. Thank you. Seriously? Quite. To be able to express what's in my heart is a wonderful thing. You still drive me mad. But I can't disagree there. Even when not yet fully awakened, Inominat can extend his reach to the entire world. The other towns are probably in the same sorry state as the ones we've seen. Or perhaps even worse. Magilu, is there some art that can awaken Malakim? What do you mean? Well, if I could just use the flames of purification properly... Even if you could alter reality with that power, you'd end up destroying yourself in the process. Do you want to awaken that badly? I need more power. For Velvet's sake? For her too, but I hate what the Abbey is doing. It's just wrong. This world of theirs is without any joy. I just... want to do everything I can to stop them. This is what I want, with my own free will. And I... I know of no such art. And even if I did, it wouldn't help you. Huh? You've already found strength in your heart. There's no magic that can make that stronger. What you need is to be ready and determined. And to be brave. I guess you're right. Thanks, Maki Lil. No thanks necessary. A hundred gold will cover it. Uh... You want me to pay you? 
Hey, good advice isn't free. What do I look like, a sidewalk psychiatrist? I'm a witch. She always has to be so difficult. Almost got me. Fucker. <laughs> Worth the trip. Finally. It was kind of arbitrary that it was just unlocked now. There's no reason to be here or anything. I mean, except the reason that I'm here for. There's a reason I had to come back here immediately after leaving. I should also kill things here to get the dire thing down here. I'll worry about that after the Kraken, since I wanted to break soul ability. I get for half paying attention. You don't crumble as easily as I thought you would. Long, 
saw red. Exhaust of my car fixed. Titles, titles, boil oysters in the cloisters. Oh, got another letter for you, Eisen. Okay. Maybe it's from your sister this time. Oh, you right. Read it? Collect these Nordals. Uh, Forgot about that. Please allow me. Now then. Your cruelty knows no bounds. You bring deep sadness to a fair maiden's heart with each passing day. Repent, or else I'll be forced to intervene. This is your final warning. And that's it. Wow, this person sounds really mad. Aizen, what did you go and do to make the fair maiden cry? I don't know, but I could try a couple things on you. Ooh, excuse me if I forget to be scared. The letter mentions a fair maiden. Do you think it refers to your sister? What? Oh, you could be onto something. She must be lonely so far away from her brother. It sounded like she's pretty fond of you. Hmm. Are you suggesting that Aizen's sister wrote these letters? I mean, they're certainly unusual, but... My sister wouldn't write something like this. Then maybe it's someone who's spending a lot of time around her. Like, oh, a man whose shoulder she cries on. Damnation, Magilu! My sister doesn't have any guy clinging on to her! Do you know something I don't? Prove it! Bring him here, right now! Calm down, Aizen. No one's saying that. But if you're really that worried, why don't you go see her? <sighs> have you... not done that since you left? I did go back once, a long time ago. But as soon as I showed up, a crowd started to gather. Overcome by malevolence, they turned into demons and attacked my sister then and there. Do you think it's your fault that happened? What do you think? I'd moved us to a safe place, low in malevolence and high up a rugged mountainside. So much for coincidence. I haven't gone back to see her since. Changing topics. I know I said these Nordals were a little off, but I think I'm starting to see that as part of their appeal. Huh? My point is, no matter how odd it might be, any gift could make a girl happy if it's given from the heart. Ha. <laughs> Sorry. You can't have one. Guess I should go on a side quest tour. Shit is open back up. What make this a pain in the ass to get to? Not like it's really hidden, it's on the goddamn mini map. What a pointless tedium in this game. sounds right. No, South gives you a view of them. Doesn't actually take you to them. Shit. Yep. Oh, unless I could jump across. No.
I also need to go back and talk to the guy about the ingredients. I think that's also pork catnix. One of those port cities. They all look the same. Fuck off. Are we ready for this? We'll go with this. Oh, we'll pick you to death. Last time I was here, that move would one shot me even if I was blocking. Crash 
the one thing I've been bitching about out the window. I will no longer bitch about how I can't come back and kill the Kraken. One great down, 50 to go. Letting me miss the guard. So that's fun. Speaking of gripes. Come on. Activate you fucking cocksucker. So now even if it does activate, I won't have three oh okay. We'll have first. Will you goddamn activate? You know what would have prevented that death? If I would have been in the middle of a Mystic Art? Or in the middle of a Theronization? Because I had the soul to do it after doing a Mystic Art. Just saying. Just fucking saying. Oh, and of course, now that I died, I have no opportunity to use it. work, probably would have been a flawless victory. But alas, they did not work. Not flawless, but you know, deathless. Still plenty of flaws to go around. It's kind of mindlessly spam. Pick fights until I get the dire foe. We can oh, do that. Okay. I really need to get Aizen in my normal lineup. I hate that they keep swapping people around for five seconds of story. Alright, yeah, he stepped away to talk to one guy real quick. I don't need to nothing. disrupt my party makeup for that shit. If I'm Ooh, good. Screen tearing. Not worth my time. Not even worth my time. No disagree. I'll show you the beauty of my camera. Okay, so the back attack is a front attack, the front attack is a back attack. You need to work on your registry game. So I didn't activate that. Seriously? Just at a point where I tried to hit it 50 times, it didn't go off. There it goes off without me touching it. This fucking game. Not worth my time. 
I'll cut down anyone in my way! Now this time I'm gonna actually try to use a Mystic Art. Said this time I'm gonna actually try to use a Mystic Art. That was your cue to use the Mystic Art. In case you didn't pick up on that. Better late than never. Could have saved it for a finisher. I just wanted to make it make it work. Go back on him. I'll show you the beauty of my spear. Try to do a mystic finisher this time. You were try. Oh, really? Game was not having it. Not worth my time. Mm, snake was still alive with me. No. This guy's still alive too. Where in the world do you hide all of I'll finish this now. Crash Severe overkill. Did you think you could escape me? Not worth my time. Crash Your 
Are we ready for this? Fucking bullshit. I see you're spamming that button to Theranize. I bought a stun. So it makes your burps taste like fish. Fun fact. Dark despair, kindle a beacon of hope. Not good fish either. Deep fish. I had some ahi tuna breath. I'll the soul fly out of that kid. Dark despair, kindle a beacon. Just lucky I made it. Okay, before the save. Where's my meter? Whatever. Gonna try killing stuff on the other side of town. Box while I'm here. Assuming I can open it.
goal was for you to come here close, so yeah. Are we ready for this? Crash through! Sure, why not? Do whatever you want, game. Do whatever the fuck you want. And do it on the first move of the combo, so you kill my theorization in the whole combo that comes with it. Why not? Why not do it at the worst possible timing? I'm not gonna do it. Or not. But this time, I'm gonna do it. Let me goddamn use this Mr. Gart. You arbitrarily set it off without me consenting. There we go. I actually try to do something, it doesn't fucking work. Ooh, dire foe. What do we have here? Annoying bug thing. They spell. Trying to kill you. Gonna let me use the Mystic Art one of these times. Maybe not this time. Maybe not this time. Maybe not this time. But one of these times. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. 
I get it, the game just wants me to save it for a finisher. It'll let me use it now. It'll let me use it now. No. No, it won't. Hey! I refuse to fall here! Oh, looks like I need to sell off or break down my gear. This is the wrong side. Why can I not change the angle? Not worth my time. He's trying to fuck up the camera and it wasn't letting me. I'm gonna ran into this fucker. I don't need to play you guys anymore. I'm done here. He's dying. Get the fuck out of my way. Oh, I didn't switch up my gear. Do that too. Do that before the end of the battle. So get experience on it, hopefully. Didn't let me mystic finish. I guess you just have to adjust the camera before you get on the thing, because once you're on it, you just can't change it. It's dumb. Really dumb. Until the little exclamation point thing popped over its head. And it was too late to turn. Oh well. More farming. Come on, really? Really? Just ran into another one. Okay, so this is not where the kids are. This is apparently where the Nordal is. Garbage, garbage, garbage. So we now oh, I focus. And some low on funds. You can sell shit anyways. That new bonus to drop rates if I have less gear is just a 
extra incentive. Who sold all these? Oh, I did. Stupid. That might break down into something useful. Been hoarding too much shit for too long. About time I did some cleaning. There's someone who still needs it. his boots. Is he still wearing those? Missed some shit when I was selling. But anything I missed, I'll just break down. Fuck it. Thank 
I just burn through a whole type of thing without paying attention. I did. Still think I'm over a hundred. like any of them. I've been investing in things I don't even like. How about that?
Right, myself out of money. Skip. And Doma skip the cutscene thing. Oh, there it is. Three Nordals collected and one to go. Right. Usually that turtle shows up right about now. What gives? Turtles, loiters, embroiders? Huh? You mean. The Turtles is late because he's taking too much time getting a new design for his robe? I knew you could follow along, my dear little oyster. Should we wait for him a bit longer? I'm sure your sister's reply has to be arriving soon. I don't write her those letters expecting to get a reply. They're more like an apology for not coming home to see her. But you can't go home because of the Reaper's curse, right? So why do you need to send letters and gifts? Soon after I left, my sister wrote me a letter. She said, I don't care if it's dangerous. I want to be with you. Maybe the old me, once I realized there was no fixing this curse, would have gone home prepared to do everything in my power to protect her. But I'm not the old me. Haven't been since I met Eifried and his crew. I understand. You found your place on that ship. Even if you lifted the curse, you wouldn't move back home. Do you think your sister knows that? I haven't told her directly, but I'm sure she's realized it. She's smart, and she's empathetic. That's why she never sends me a reply. Or apathetic. You mean because she respects that you've chosen your way of life? That's probably how she sees it, yes. But understanding does not preclude loneliness. I think she doesn't reply as a way of showing that she disapproves. And you keep on sending those letters by way of atonement. I don't think it's anything so noble as that, but sure. You're probably not too far off the mark. A brother writing letters knowing he'll never get a reply. And a sister waiting for a brother she knows will never come home. You two make it so damn complicated. Just talk it out face to face and make up already. It's not that hard. <sighs> At least the person you care about is still alive. Velvet, 
<sighs> Are we done here? Let's go. Oh, it's not gonna tell me where the last one's at? Okay. Teleport to the city I'm already at. Oh, that's right, there's a thing here. I never got to. Oh, fuck you! Come for the side quest, stay for the pointless battle. Sure, why not? We'll do that. Yeah, I like this uh, Kraken thing where I, sometimes I don't use a soul. I like that a lot. Would have been nice to have for, you know, the big chunk of the game where they locked me out of having it. Big move, game. Big move. These chests don't really matter. I just want that one I couldn't reach before. That's probably got something good in it. Probably. Yeah, you can't touch me. Off to the races. That shit on a secret island. Fuck you. Oh, can I not continue this side quest? Come here for no reason? Oh fuck. Had something that could add three random skills to equipment. We're gonna get there by boat. Find out in a minute.
God damn it, stop popping up random shit. And again, can't go to the one place I want to go. Um, where am I supposed to be going? Police. Oh, good. It seems you're both still here inside me, then. Yeah, goody. It is not as though we desired these circumstances. We're only here because you ate us. I'll make no apologies. You wish to sacrifice us to the four elemental Empyreans, is that it? Yes. I won't apologize for that, either. It matters not. Your sins are nothing a mere apology could ever absolve. I know. At least you're aware of how selfish you are. Good for you, then. Remember this well. Lord of Calamity. No matter how many times I am reborn, I will act the same. Like a little bitch? As will I. And I as well. Did you say something? Just dreaming is all. But I know now how deep my sins run. Velvet, how deep? There's something I've wanted to talk to you about. It's... it's about the Therians. And about Lafayette. Let me guess. The link between us and Inomi not. Yes. There's no way of knowing what will happen until we actually try, but... You don't have to worry about me. I said it before. Best just to blame all the wickedness of the world on the Lord of Calamity. Don't you try to shoulder all of this yourself! We exorcists are just as much at fault for letting things come to this. More. So let me ponder what to do about Kamoana and the rest. But you need to think about Lafayette. There, I've said my piece. I don't know which of us is more stubborn. Still, I've got to face the truth. I've got to tell him. Okay. Oh, good. This place hasn't been suppressed yet. We're unloading. Give me a hand, will you? Hey, you listening? Sorry. Something just feels weird. Like there's something tugging at my thoughts. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of that lately. But pull yourself together. Yeesh! Yet being the operative term here. We'd better get a move on. Benwick. Don't leave Kamoana or Medissa's domain, got it? The Therians are part of Inominat. They should be able to resist suppression to some extent. Aye, aye. You watch yourself too, first mate. Mount Killerhouse is at the northern edge of Northgand. Bit of a trek. It'd be nice if we could resupply along the way. There's a town, Mercio. Near the foot of the volcano. It faces the sea, but the currents lately have been too strong to approach it by water. However, the land route should still be clear. The whole continent has been getting colder of late, not just Northgand. Colder? Could it have something to do with Inominat? 
Or maybe it's because the elemental Empyreans are asleep. Both sound possible. But think too hard about the cold, and it'll give you the shivers. Yeah, but even so... Whatever the case, our course remains the same. We'll head to Mercio and work from there. Move? Move, bitch. There you go. My son came home from the capital and said he'd take over the family fishing business. That was always my dream. The lame is dream. It really best for the world? For him to waste his talents on such a primitive activity? Dad, no. what are you saying? I thought we talked about this. You should use your education to help the country and people all across the world. That is the way of reason. That guy is acting really oddly. Wait, we talked about this? Yeah. You agreed that I should use my knowledge to advance fishing technology and stabilize the world's food supply. Remember? Oh. Yes, that's right. Shape up, Dad. What's the problem? Drinking too much? Just a nightcap before bed. If you need some rest, I'll take the boat out myself today. <laughs> That'd be the day. Like I'd put you in charge. You're not ready to take the boat out by yourself. An ill-fated fisherman's fortune. His memories are muddied. But is it divine will that dulls his wits, or drink? A yes. sailor who can't handle his drink is just as shameful as one who gets seasick. Alright, so let's take a look at the dire foe list. The East Gand one's actually easier than the North Gand one. Uh, it's still a high level. They're both... North one's like 90-something. East Gand one is 66. Um, let me go try to kill this thing. I think 66 is still higher than anything I've fought yet. I think the highest was 50 something. I don't know, I'd have to look at the dire list guy. For the red mark list. Not sure entirely where he is. Probably inside the tavern. Are we ready for this? Crash through! <laughs> We're finished here. Let's go. Are we ready for this? Get 
Did you think you could escape me? Oh, it's an easy fight. A good job needed for that. Trying to lure out a, a bigger, stronger fight by doing these fights. PC. I'm PC exclusive. I haven't had a console since PS2. No, not free, but I got it on a uh, Humble Bundle, so it's uh, 12 bucks with a bunch of other games. I think it's this month's Humble Bundle or the last month, I can't remember which. So it might still be available. Come 
me. Follow me. my first follower on caffeine. Now, far from my first on Twitch, but on caffeine, I think that was my first follower. Yay. Uh, I, I like the interface on caffeine more than Twitch. Uh, there's also less delay in the stream. It seems, the thing is, you can't monitor the bandwidth like you can with OBS. Like, I have no idea how much bandwidth is going towards caffeine. I know with OBS it's like 6. 6 megabytes. Here. I have no idea what's going up to that, so that kind of sucks. At least with this farming shit, you get a lot of equipment handled. We do still have a lot of equipment, and I need to get through. Especially rings. Are we ready for this? Ah, once Infernal this, uh, Torrid. caffeine thing's out of pre-alpha, it'll pick up a little more. I haven't had more than two people in the room watching me on that. I've already had one person give me a gift. I've not tried to turn that into actual cash. But I've got some... Got some of whatever the currency is called on there. And one follower. Increases grade and will draw out the dire. 
Is this also part of the Reaper's curse? That's not. Scout. Are we ready for this? That ready for me? Then use your dark bottle. Who I was forgetting something. Somebody else wanted to resurrect me? I was just gonna leave him on the ground, he's funny to give a shit. But somebody apparently learned how to res. Who was it? Life. Okay, that's also good. You guys got some new shit. And I just saw I got new art too. This is a bullshit one, so we'll get rid of this. And that goes into Banishing Thunder, Binding Frost. That goes into both. Definitely have stuff that goes in the slide of salt. I don't think I have anything that goes into that though. Vanishing Thunder there. Oh, hey there. Oh, 
Alright, Dark Bottle. Where are you going? Thirty-six is less than eight. There we go. Hoping that would trigger this. Yeah, 
Being demi human wind. Being demi human wind. strong against. I see why the description on that website called this an ass face wall. Let me get that second hit off. You can do it, you can do it. You can't do it. Disgraceful. Forget the pain and move. Fair now. Mortal potato bugs are annoying. I did not want to cast that on him, but I wanted to put it on myself. Or some bullshit happen like that. Velvet, 
Disgraceful. So you guys should be healing and rising. I actually went off when I wanted it to. So rare. Come on, two resers, you can't res. As I got it, I got stunned. I was not in the line of fire to what it displayed and realized it's gonna be a wide cone. A double cone, too. Thank you. Looks that using items puts you in a stun, so to heal yourself, you have to set yourself up to get hit. Got him, though. That was a rough one. Cool. And one where it's a uh, paranoia inducing because if you lose, it's game over. You don't get a second chance. Um, let's just see that cat box real quick. See if I can open it. Probably not. Just in case. 
That's a real save point. And back to hell, Elise. here than last time you're right it was merely freezing before now it goes straight to the bone allow me to warm not nessa uh, uh, oh the stars <coughs> are going around choking <coughs> 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 on the water if it's this bad here i dread <coughs> to think of what the guyberg ice field is like <gasps> the tundra past mount killer house is it really that cold? I've stayed up in the mountains many times for my training. With all the snow, <coughs> I imagine it'd be pretty rough for a normal human. <coughs> Why are you sneezing all of a sudden? Demons aren't supposed to feel cold. Ah, a snowflake just flew up my nose and. Not snowflake. You're bad. sneezing too. My hair was blowing around and tickled my nose. But according to the old book I read. It isn't supposed to snow much around Guyberk. Because of lava from the volcano and the Earth's natural heat. I bet the book calls it Guyberk Plains, too. Yeah, it says Mount Killerhouse was highly active, and the area used to be famous for its hot springs. But now it's... Uh... What? It's, uh... Why are you all staring? They're all expecting you to sneeze, I think. Everyone else is doing it! Now give us a good show! Ah. Uh, uh, uh. uh. Sorry, everyone. No sneezes here. I'll practice for next time. Ah, oh, good grief. I don't know where I'm going, it's to the north, but... Oh, right, there's that path through this thing. I remember. Whoa. Goddamn ghost. Ghost was there to test my reaction time. Are we ready for this? So was that popping? I failed this time. Did that. Three is more than eight. Like, yeah, I would rather it did that than the three one. But 
What the fuck? It's only a bit further to the town of Mercio. And once we're past Mercio, we'll find our destiny on Mount Killaros. I know it's supposed to be cold here, but I didn't think it would be this cold. Reviving the elemental Empyreans is bound to alter this weather. Huh. I'm not sure how much warmer it'll get in a time we'll still be alive. Keep moving. The cold and the climb don't matter. We have to move forward. We can't stop until the elemental Empyreans have been revived. More boogie board. Ooh, new monster types. This darkness. Go for the back attack, it's sure. Crash 
What's going on with this thing? I can take any damage and suddenly it's counter-attacking. You're an asshole. I don't like you. got a lot of life. It's just a basic mob. My lack of grinding is starting to catch up. Training. Is training hard? Good. Show them how. We will need to be what? extremely wary. Bad idea, there's nothing near me, but something came near. So thanks. Are we ready for this? Power! Blade! Power! 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 Power!
Is the last thing I have. I fought everything else here. You're strong, but I'm stronger. those guys. The armadildos have way too much life. They gave me the impression that this zone's very dangerous. Oh, the wolves were pretty good at tearing my party apart.
get my boogie board. We will need to hey. be extremely wary. here. This hurt, I'm gonna end up hitting the dire foe by accident. I don't think I'm ready for it yet. The fucking dragon thing. What did I miss two chests? It seems pretty open. Oh! Hey buddy! That was rude of you. It's also rude of you. I need you to learn some manners. I think I just saved, so let's do it. What are you? Why is it not letting me do anything? Cool. Freeze me up and not let me attack whatsoever. And of course, kill off my mystic art that I was trying to cast in the process. Trying to attack, trying to theranize, trying to mystic art. I was trying to do everything. Wouldn't let me do anything. Super chicken. Oh! 
No one invited you. Did not switch, goddammit. Getting the soul sound. Okay. Guys, right, take advantage. Everything's on me. The three of you should all be casting. Be slick, it didn't work for me. Guys, that got you. That got you. Took off. No mercy. Wounds I won't heal. Cards to the flesh. Make my pay. Take that. Devour. Got you. Took off. Finish. Feeling great. Take that. Devour. Got you. Took off. Finish. Feeling great. Came into this fight without full life bottles. Wings, kill them to the bone. Take that, devour. 
Oh, I'm a smart decision. Who else did I use life bottles on? Oh, you fucker. Let me miss the card. Block, block, block. Run. What? Did I step on a trap? Was that like Mario Kart where it wasn't really a soul? It was a trap soul? Otherwise, that made no fucking sense. Everyone's on me. The res. Oh, no, not everyone. Main guy jumped off. They're all on me. Let's get to it, guys. Oh, Dyson's still not standing. Had plenty of time. There he is. All these down. Do this real quick. Yes. Wow. Just wow. I can't die here. Clearly, you can. Disgraceful. And that did nothing.
be the soul, but I'm kind of in a position where I need to be tanking. As soon as I try to step away, I'll get torn apart. Guys, come on, team. Team effort. I'm the tank. You guys be the DPS. Fine, I'm the DPS. And the tank. I thought we were done for. I think with that I hit all the dire foes. I got it. All except for the red mark I can't get to because it's in Titania. Uh, got all the dire foes. This is ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Is this Three days on watch with no sleep. I was ten freaking minutes late. It's not like the mine is gonna fall apart. Hey. Uh. Sure, whatever. If you got business here, go on in. Yeah, we'll do that. Good guarding. Brassin. They'll pay for this. Okay, you Sandy Sam. Little lamplight. Wow, I didn't know so many people lived up here on the northern edge of the world. This town was built around the mining of Flamestone, which can only be found here on Mount Killaras. So if anything happens to the volcano, this town's screwed. So releasing the two souls here will surely destroy the town. Inhuman, aren't I? Curse me all you want. I have no right to. The Abbey has proven itself just as heartless. People living here must have the will to endure the cold, to fight back against this pitiless environment. I'd rather have that strength than feel nothing in the face of my troubles and pain. Agreed. A life without feeling is a box of stupid. <laughs> yes, a vast container of... Uh, of stupid. Right. The question is, can we wake up all four elemental Empyreans with the souls Velvet has absorbed? If Inominat's revival and the Empyrean slumber are related, we should assume we need all four Empyreans to stop him. I think I'll only be able to wake two. Oh, come on. There are only two souls left inside of me. Teresa's and Oscar's. Are you sure? Yes. I can tell. I don't know if two Empyreans will be enough to fight him. This is my responsibility. Did you talk to her but sister recently? Well, if we don't have enough, let's knock on Shigure's door. His soul would make a fine sacrifice. Old man Melky or two. His heart's as cold as a witch's teat, but he's free of malevolence. You're truly ready to take on two leggings at once? I was born ready. It's not like they'll sit back and ignore us anyway. And with Artorius and Inominat all tied up with their suppression party, this is the perfect chance to take them out. <sighs> Acting with caution is... a box of stupid, I take it? <laughs> now you're catching on. All right. Leave it to me. Caution is generally the opposite of stupid. So... I'm all stoked for the god waking, but what's the plan? The road to the volcano is on the other side of town. Let's start by taking a quick look around. The gatekeeper, he wasn't mean to you, was he? He was pretty angry about being forced to watch the gate, but he let us pass through no problem. I know that being forced to be on watch for three days straight is excessively harsh, but still. He wandered here from another town one day. He barely ever does any work and has a habit of pilfering things. He skipped out on his duties in the Flamestone Mines, and while we were busy working, he was sneaking into our empty houses to steal things. So that's why you made him stand at the edge of the village. Yeah. We're bringing him food, of course. We told him that if he doesn't like it, he can leave. Still, is he actually accomplishing anything out there? He may be bold enough to rob us, but he's a real coward. 
If a demon showed up, he'd shut the gates and come running. He doesn't have anywhere else to go, so we're hoping that eventually he'll realize the error of his ways. If you keep forcing him to stand out there in the cold, he might find another place to go. The afterlife. You know, in a remote village like this, if you're stealing shit, come get your hand cut off. What a peaceful, serene place. You're a peaceful, you sure it serene isn't just place. the snow? But doesn't it look pure and beautiful? Well, I think it's pretty too. But that doesn't guarantee the citizens will be. <sighs> Not you too, Aizen. Well, they're kind enough to let a shirker stand out in the cold for three days. He might have been up to no good. Every town has sunny spots and shadows. I'm well aware of that, but we, we this discussion, discussion isn't leading anywhere. We'll know once we go see for ourselves. Just think of it like your old job. Investigate and find the truth. Yes, I believe I shall. Mindlessly follow my orders. Since I killed McCarthy, so you come with the room. that. So there's apparently a new difficulty system. That's lame. Mercio has been getting colder every year. We used to have a spring and summer short though they were now we're the town of eternal winter it sounds like a tough place to live still global warming gets us used for more than just heating people all over the world need it you know that's why no matter how tough it gets we keep on with our lives here while holding pride in our work no matter how cold it gets this place is our home the warmth inside our hearts <sighs> can keep the chill away this town really is warm then in body and soul oh i like the way you talk Make sure to take a dip in our hot spring before you, you leave. Talk too. Oh, here's a tip. The water is scalding hot, so put some snow in to lower the temperature. Snow in the tub. Got it? Wow, I'm almost up to four hours on this video. I think that means it's about time for a break. Once I get through the cutscenes in town, I'm gonna save. Probably go eat some breakfast. Have you heard the rumors about the Lord of Calamity? No. What rumors? That deadly demon whose rampage began in Helavis. The Abbey finally got her. I heard you that she say. bites anyone who meets her gaze, that she devours humans as a snack. And that she has the head of a wolf. I was terrified of what might happen if she showed up here. Now, I can finally rest easy, knowing that she's gone. Yeah, you wouldn't want to get bitten, that's for sure. I know. I'm so relieved. I don't want a demon to kill me. Definitely not. In fact, if you ever meet one, you should run. Fast. It's funny because she's the demon. Uh huh. Demons! There are demons in town! Ah! Everyone, run away! Damn it! 
damn it! What happened to the gate watch? He's the one who turned into a demon! <laughs> Mommy! Mommy! <laughs> Now's your chance! Run! Sorry, but you're going to help me. No mercy! Wounds that won't shield! Fight in the flesh! Make them pay! Cruise pick that! Don't die! Quick! Kill them! Slow them! Infernal Torrent! 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 Slow them! No idea why it's not activating the final move in the combo. Not complaining about it. Just don't get why. And then this time, did it spread away? Thank you so much. How can we ever repay you? Cash money, motherfucker. I have a message for the Abbey's legates. On the next Scarlet Night, I will offer a sacrifice to Mount Killerhouse and strip Inominach of his power. I dare them to try and stop me! She just ate the demon with her arm! She, she's... I am corruption made flesh! Velvet, the Lord of Calamity! <laughs> <laughs> this city is ours. Flee to the south, puny humans, while your tears dump the, the snow! Calamity. The demon lord of chaos! Hurry, before our dark mistress sucks the marrow from your very bones! She lead us all! Run for it! <laughs> that was splendid. We should do this more often. It went well, except... Ow! What was that for? There will be no sucking of marrow. My sister taught me proper table manners. Oh, what a waste. The marrow's the tastiest part. <laughs> it kinda is. At least now the citizens of Mercio won't be swept up in our fight. They already are. We just tore their homes and livelihoods away. This wasn't for them. This was to summon the legates here. That's all. Even so, I thank you for what you've done, O oh fearsome Lord of Calamity. I'll pretend I didn't hear that, O oh, exalted Praetor of the Abbey. A whole crowd of people were fleeing south. What happened? Benwick, why are you here? I had a delivery for the first mate. Kurogane and Kamalana uh, are here too. Why? You brought Kamalana? She absolutely insisted on following we me. We throw her in the volcano? The kid said she had a dream that you died, Eleanor. Kamalana. How long do we have until Shigure and the others get here? Hmm... Given the distance, my guess is they won't show up until the Scarlet Night. Then I think I'll make use of that time. Kurogane wanted me for something, I take it? Aye, that's what he said. All right then. Everyone go rest up. Good idea. We've got a battle to prepare for. This may be the last breather we get. As always, better make sure you leave no regrets. <sighs> Fee, anything could happen. Don't leave town. Can I... Can I stay with you, Velvet? I don't mind, but... You sure? Weird little yeah. ancestral nephew. Do what you like, then. Turtles moved in? No? Oh, pirate. Can invest in that. Oh, 
Break time, because, yeah. Three hours, 58 minutes, 42 seconds. Woohoo. 